Hello guys and uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, now, as coronavirus is sweeping the country and the world, I've, I have to wear one of these so you know I'm staying safe, I don't want to don't want to catch anything. But the Pokemon Company have released some new stuff, complete unbeknownst to me, I didn't know they'd be releasing anything but here we are, we're reacting to it. We're a couple hours late, but it is what it is. So yeah, let's just jump into it. I, I cannot continue the video wearing that, holy shit. <laughs> Breathing is this? It just fogs up your glasses. It ain't. Ugh. Ain't about it. The Pokemon Company have released some new information about the DLCs coming out for Pokemon Sword and Shield. They are the Isle, Armor of Isle, Isle of Armor, and the Crown Tundra. So they've released some stuff. Mhm. Mm Seen all this G Max forms for our starter Pokemon. Yes, lad, get in. There we have. G-Max Rillaboom, lovely. Got a nice Sugimori art piece for that. He's got four arms. No, he's got six arms by the look of it. Four of these like spiky, bushy tentacle things. So he can do more drum. So he's, he's now got a fully fledged drum set. That's good to see. Is that his G-Max drum beatings then? Okay, and there's Cinderace. Possibly my least favourite of the bunch because it's just Cinderace with longer ears standing on a fireball. Now I know it's G-Max move. Now I know it's um, Saint Jimmy, sorry, was Pyro Ball. But um, I don't really, I don't really frick with that. I think all of their um, G-Max forms are based around their signature moves. So Rillaboom, obviously, drum beatings, gets a drum set. Cinderace Pyro Ball gets a big fireball. With the face, with the face, mind you. Don't, don't, don't forget about the face. And then Inteleon has snipe shot and gets a sniper. So, you know. Oh my! It literally kicks the fucking massive fireball at the opponent. Holy shit! Okay. Fucking hell. And here we are. Oh shit! It's actually like. Let's watch that again. It's actually like it's tail. It's tail is this thing it's standing on. That's sick. Okay. So Inteleon just has a massive ass tail and a sniper rifle. <laughs> I didn't know that it was this tail. I thought it was like a column of water, but now we see the Sugimori artwork. It does in fact look like it's tail, so that does make sense. <laughs> Poor Gastrodon. New trainer outfits. Okay, this is what I'm pretty interested probably the most interested for because uh, I love character customization in games and this is going to be Pokemon character customization they've done it well in X and Y they've done well in Sword and Shield they did well in Sun Moon so I hope they continue to do well with these expansion packs I'm sure they will okay that's Marnie Rose oh okay some new backgrounds new like stickers I guess fair enough Oh, okay. Kubfu. Okay, your partner on the Isle of Armor. Alright. Okay. I'm gonna be real. Kubfu's cute. But I don't really freak with Kubfu. Personally. Now, if we, if it's like a Pokemon we don't add to our party, but it stays with us, then I'll be fine, you know? But I don't really want to replace one of my teammates with Kubfu. Because I like my team. My team are solid. And I don't want a Kubfu on it, unfortunately. <laughs> or an Urshifu for that matter. It's a cute design though. I'll give it that. It's a cute Pokemon. Now oh, we get to choose. Okay. So which uh, Shifu we want? All right, nice. Okay, solid. So for June 2020, the Isle of Armor. Lovely, lovely stuff. And then we're getting Crown Tundra in the fall. Uh, that kind of works, you know. June summertime, getting a nice beach expansion. Holy shit! Look at that whale lord there. Fuck it, hell, he's a unit. He is. I love this. This image is it's gorgeous. I'm just uh, excited about these uh, the new trainer customizations we're getting. Let's have a look at these uh, lead card designs. 
Pokemon trainers in the Galar region make lead cards introduce themselves. Of course, they are also used in the Isle of Arm and the Crown Tundra. So yeah, you just get new effects and stuff for your... Uh... Okay. The Isle of Armor will also introduce a way to challenge yourself to some new battles. With restricted sparring, you'll be limited in what types of Pokemon you can be used and forced to battle under set conditions. Okay, interesting. So they, they want to like make some like only using certain Pokemon, like Pokemon that maybe don't get used a lot. I know we see a lot of like RU versus OU videos on Showdown, but they want to like put that in Pokemon. I think that's pretty sick. In the Crown Tundra, you and your friends will be able to enter next world Pokemon dens on the Crown Tundra in the new gameplay feature. Deep inside these dens, you'll have a chance to encounter legendary Pokemon from previous games. Oh, nice. And then it's telling us what we get. Okay. So, new areas in both games. If you want Kubshu and Doshifu, you want to get Isle of Armor. If you want Kaylee Rex, that's the Crown Tundra. The G-Max forms are in the Isle of Armor. You get new regional forms, new Pokemon, new Pokedexes, new clothing, and new Pokemon in both games, both expansions. Then you get new new items, new tutor moves, and the, the sparring feature from the, the uh, Isle of Armor, and then the cult mode from the Crown Tundra. Nice handy little graph for you there. Here are some of the new clothing options you get. So you can look like Rose, uh, just some like new clothes in general, um, more new clothes in general, and then you can look like Marnie as well, if if your character's female, of course. Nice. Okay, you can actually get his hair as well, which I think you actually get these these are some new hairstyles as well, which is pretty sick. Because the hair we've got in Pokemon right now, I I ain't really freaking with that. New Pokemon content for the uh, expansion packs, very sick. Okay, so. What do you think of these new G-Max forms? Which one's your favourite? I'm leaning to Inteleon. Mostly because that's the star I picked. But also Inteleon's cool. Sniping's a good job, mate. And yeah. New Pokemon content. It's coming in a couple months, I think. Yeah, we've got April, May. So in just about two or three months, we'll have a new Pokemon expansion. And a new Pokemon mini-series, depending on how long the expansion pass is. I'm going to get to editing that Sharpened Volcano Fragment video. So I hope you have enjoyed, and I shall see you guys in uh, my next video, which will be TF2 related. <laughs> Thank you for 800 subs, and peace. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours, two hours. Yo, bitch can food took a few showers, few showers. I don't buy my just money dance, yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.